So this is Bruce with UTV Excursion and Review and today we're out trying out a new GPS system. We think you'll like it. You're going to see it in the video. But I'd like to give a special thanks to uh, Valley Cycle Motorsports in Bakersfield, California to uh, Zane and Zach down there. They kicked us down some nice Polaris shirts. We all ride Polarises. But uh, we price shopped them. We bought all of our uh, units from them. And uh, we price shopped them in Los Angeles, all over, uh, down south. And they can't be beat. They're a good group of guys down there. And if you want a side-by-side, -side, I recommend them highly. So in the past, some videos we've talked about different GPS's and the ability to navigate. Uh, through the desert and in the trails and the GPS's we've talked about in the past are fairly expensive they range in the neighborhood of four hundred to seven hundred dollars depending on whether you get them with or without cameras we have found a better way to navigate through the desert and what we've done is purchased a very inexpensive tab a Samsung tablet for about a hundred dollars they have a GPS, but they need Wi-Fi for the GPS to work. So the way we've combated that is with a Garmin Glow. This is a GPS receiver. It receives both American and Russian satellite. When it's connected to the tab via Bluetooth, at that point you need no Wi-Fi to run this for navigation. The Garmin Glow is $99. You can order it on Amazon. They work great. So from now on, when you turn on your tab, it will automatically link to this Garmin Glow. The tab is mounted in the UTV. We purchased a real inexpensive waterproof, dustproof case, mounted it with a RAM mount on the T-handle or on the dash, and all you need to do is download navigation software. And the reason I like running a tab, and this is a tab A by Samsung. I personally run the uh, iPad mini. But what it's allowed me to do is to download several different mapping programs. Gaia, Onyx Off-Road, uh, Google Earth, Google Maps, Explorer apps, and also Polaris Ride Command. Now the reason I have so many of them loaded is they both have different characteristics that I like. I'll have to admit the Gaia is my favorite um, for about $200 and a few little mounts and cases you can have probably the best navigation uh, system money can buy in my opinion. You do have to download some of the map areas that you're going to ride in ahead of time because you don't have data uh, out in the desert or in the mountains. That's not inconvenient at all. These programs are very, very simple to operate. Gaia seems to be my favorite and what I was able to do with Gaia was find the GPS coordinates of a place that I wanted to go that I'd never been to, enter it in and then to the tablet and with the Gaia program map the whole ride where I wanted to go it highlighted it kept me on course and I got there exactly to the spot I wanted to go that I'd never been to ride command by Polaris has some features as well that allows you to form a riding group and follow each other uh, on the trail so you know where your riding buddies are at all times uh, Google Earth will point out some areas that you can see from you know satellite view and on X off-road it has some characteristics that are different for it from the other ones and the total cost of software is about uh, 50 bucks for all of them I will take a picture of my screen on my tablet to show you which programs I've downloaded again this is the Garmin glow this miniature little receiver and Garmin recommends that you put it in view of the sky like on a dash or something like that 
what we opted to do was purchase this Gorilla Box. It's magnetic. We put the Garmin Glow inside it. It has a 12 hour battery. We actually ran a permanent charging cord to it. We shut this, it's waterproof and it's magnetic and we stick it to the inside of the roof on our UTV. We've had no problems with it connecting to satellites any way, shape or form. Again, this is a great idea. You got a $100 tablet, a $100 receiver, and another $40 or $50 in boxes, mounts, covers, and screen protectors. I think it's the way to go. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for watching the channel.